voltage is right around 13 volts, 13.01. We're going to watch the uh, voltage drop. People ask, what's the point of all this? The point is trying to make a very, very efficient um, motor. Um, there's no steel laminates in this motor, so there's no heating, there's no eddy currents, there's no cogging. Um, there's no uh, back EMF that the current's trying to fight against. It's all flowing in a uniflow direction. And so, you know, basically the idea is to uh, see what we can do to make a DC motor, you know, really, really efficient. Does it charge itself? Hmm. In a way it does. There's basically eight cycles. There's eight points around the rotation where the coils are energized by the uh, permanent magnet. Does it charge more than it takes to run? No. But it's, uh, it's a very, very efficient motor. We're at 12.26. I'm going to shut it off and let's see what the battery voltage is. Started at 13. So after a five minute rest, um, we're at 12.89. Alright, this is the newly redesigned um, Lynx Jewel motor. And unfortunately I'm still using this um, this magnetic relay, basically there's a little neo there and when the north-south come around it either pushes it away or pulls it into a contact. So that's my um, trigger for the the transistor. And I'll show you the little circuit board is neatened up. Basically I'm using um, the schematic that we've got at the Lynx Wind uh, forum. So I followed it exactly. And um, what I'll show you is the amp draw. Put a little um, propeller. Kind of made one. Couldn't find anything else for a load, but that works pretty well. And this is my little wind sock, so you can see that there's some wind blowing. I'm going to hook it up to a 12 volt battery. Uh, drawing one, basically plus to one amp. If you look, there's a little LED on the um, circuit board, it lights up, and that's the bridge between the secondary and the primary, so basically it's acting as the diode between the two. It's basically acting like a 12, 12 watt motor under load. You can see that little LED there. Zoom in on that. Voltage is 12.32, and when I ran this DC uh, motor, when I ran this motor as just a uh, DC motor, uh, voltage drop was quite fast. It would drop down into the uh, 11, 10 volt range right away. Fair amount of wind splattering off the table. Put my finger on the prop. Give it a little more load. 
So as you add load, the voltage drops, meaning it's pulling more amperage. It's going to be 